Hey there, I'm Kat Boardman. Today on Trendspotters, Francesca Rizzo, a makeup artist from William & Mary's own Rocket Magazine, will share some tips on how to pull off red lipstick. Classic red lip is perfect for fall as well as the upcoming holiday season. From coral to burgundy, the look is flirty, bold, and a little bit retro. Celebrities like Emma Stone, Penelope Cruz, Beyonce, and Scarlett Johansson rock this look on the red carpet. So today, Elaine has kindly allowed us to create a red lipstick look for her. Um, this is a great classic look that's been around for ages and is now regaining its popularity. Um, it's a great way to stand out at night or even during the day if you feel like it. Um, red lipsticks come in many different shades and variations that look better on some skin tones than others. People with fair skin tones should stick to more blue-based reds or cherry reds. Uh, people with olive skin tones should stick to colors with a little bit of a yellow undertone or a true brick red. And people with darker skin can pull off great bright reds or darker tones with more burgundy or wine bases to them. So today on the lane we used L'Oreal's Evangeline's Red number 320. It's a great um, rich red color with a little bit of an orange undertone to play up the olive tones in her skin. It also goes very well with her dark brown hair. So this is Erin, and she's demonstrating a great red that is a go-to color for a lot of different skin tones. I would shy away from it if you're of a lighter skin tone because the berry reds aren't necessarily going to work, but if you're of an olive or darker skin tone, sticking to a classic red with berry undertones is a great way to go. And this one is Laura Mercier's Sheer Lipstick in Tender Lips. So for darker skin tones, we've picked out Revlon's Super Lustrous Lipstick in Blackberry. It's a great dark tone with um, berry and wine shades to it to really complement dark skin colors. The last thing you want when you're creating a bold lip look is for your lips to look dry and flaky. So before you apply a bright red or any other bright color, make sure you start with a lip balm so that you get a nice soft lip without diluting the color. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time on Trend Spotters.